What's going on, folks? Renegade here. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen that a couple days ago I posted a rather angry video post. Um, yeah, I was I was really angry, and I tried to kind of tone myself down at the time that I made that post. Um, I looked back at it, and I realized maybe I shouldn't have posted it at that time because there's a more effective way to go about relaying the message that I was trying to relate but hey you know what it's life okay we all deal with anger and some of us well we let our anger get the best of us hi that's me anywho <clears throat> so this video I wanted to kind of go back to that video post that I made and I wanted to kind of uh, expand upon it just a little bit more because I do think it's an important thing for us all to know. And I'll try and do it without the uh, venomous hatred that I had at that time. Basically, my post said that if somebody who's supposed to be close to you, supposed to really care about you, decides that they would rather make a horrible decision and continue to do something to hurt you and to make you feel like you're not important, you don't matter enough, that basically you should cut them out of your life. I do not disagree with what I said at all. And I'll tell you why. Okay. Uh, in my life, I've dealt with somebody very close to me. I'm going to try and do this without putting too much out there. Um, although I want to do that, I'm still not entirely sure I should. But we're going to think about that, revisit that. And if you guys think that I should, or if you want to know, like, the whole story, like, leave it down in the comments so I know. Okay. But, um, I'm 31 right now. And for 31 years, and we'll call it a, a modest 25 years of my brain being developed enough to the point where I actually recognize the issues um, for 25 years or so, I've dealt with somebody very close to me, um, having certain problems which lead them to being a very toxic person, a pretty dangerous person to be around with a lot of cases. And I'm not telling you guys this because I want you to pity me, as I've said in previous videos, I hate pity. Like, don't pity me, okay? I'm using myself as an example so that you guys can kind of relate that you have a good example of what I'm talking about um, but this person has had problems for many 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 years and it uh, makes this person very difficult to deal with at times and the overall is that the, the choices this person continues to make wreak havoc on our lives um, I have a sister who's four and a half years younger than I am. She deals with the same things that I do. And although we both react to things and we deal with things differently, I know that it has affected her just as much as it affected me. Just maybe in slightly different ways. Um, because this person is so close to me, I have had a lot of scarring, so to speak, a lot of baggage, so to speak, that has come as a result. Um, I can tell you, I have a difficult time trusting people. I have a difficult time allowing myself to connect to people. Um, it makes things a little difficult to have relationships with people, not just the romantic sense, but, you know, and any sort of, like, connection, friendships, mentorships, um, I mean, I, I try, and I, I do, but it, it can make things very difficult, because you have that kind of hanging on your back, you know, somebody that's supposed to be 
close to you, they're supposed to care about you, they're supposed to be a mentor type person, um, has caused this much pain. And time and time again has shown you that you're not important enough to care about or to care about your feelings or has told you flat out, like, your feelings don't matter. Shut up. It can be difficult. This person has gotten chance and chance and chance and chance again. I think this particular person is going on their 200th or so one last chance to make things right. To make the choices that would lead them to fix their problems. And I'm not saying that the problems this particular person has are any simple fix. Like, it's not as, you know, it's not as simple as flipping a switch or snapping your fingers and saying, okay, I'm better. But it's a progress, it's a, it's a process. But the problem I have is that this particular person doesn't seem to want to take the steps to solve their issues, or even to attempt to solve their issues. Uh, this particular person will admit that they have a problem, but they only do so when it's going to benefit them to admit to it, but then that's it. And uh, I have said before, like, either get your shit straight or consider yourself out of my life entirely. And it's a pretty messed up thing to tell somebody like that, especially considering the relationship that we have. Um, but the reason I do that, the reason I've done that, rather, is because it's not healthy for me. Dealing with these problems is not healthy for me. And I imagine anybody who is watching this video who has dealt with a very similar situation, um, obviously I haven't gone into the details as to what this is, some of you who might be watching this video who actually know my situation, you already know and, you know, you get it. But there's plenty of people out there that have had problems with people with toxic personalities who cause damage uh, psychological, emotional, sometimes even physical. And you, you know what this is about. Like, you, you know this situation. It's ringing a little close to home. So the reason I bring it up is because sometimes in life we are handed a really crappy hand. And sometimes we go through so much that we don't need to. There is no real reason why I should have to deal with all the trouble that I've dealt with in my life. There's no reason that you should deal with as much trouble in your life as you might have because of a toxic person. But, a lot of times we'll look at the situation and say, well... I hope things get better. Or, well, I can't write this person off because they're a person that's supposed to be so close to me. How can I write someone off if they're supposed to be close to me like this? And it's not easy. And it's just making that decision to basically write somebody off from your life who's supposed to be close to you, that alone can wreak havoc on your, on your brain, on your emotions. It's important to know, though, that sometimes it is the best choice. I'll give you an example. Alright, again, not getting into any specifics. Uh, over the last week, I've dealt with a direct result from this person's toxicity. Um, things kind of came to a head, and there was a fallout, and there was a big stress because I wasn't entirely sure what might happen because of this person's toxicity paired with 
what has happened, what transponded in the last couple days. This was enough of a concern to me that I actually call out of work because I wanted to be around home to protect the house because I'm not entirely sure what this person is capable of when they're in this particular mood. That alone will, like, really fuck you up having to have that, like, protector complex. I've had many exes tell me it's a hero complex, and it's really bad of me, but... Whatever. Um... But yeah, I was basically on high alert for the last week or so. High alert and on edge because I wasn't sure what was going to happen and I felt I had to be ready at all moments. Like, ready to, to jump into action to, like, stop something from happening. And because of that and because of the overall stress of the situation, I wasn't sleeping. Imagine your body, your nerves being full throttle all the time but not having anything to stop and revitalize, recharge them. That's what it was. Uh, I got about 45 minutes of sleep at a time, maxing out at about two hours each night for about a week. And it killed me. <laughs> like, not just emotionally, but like drained, drained me physically. I came home from work the other day I got a cup of coffee, I sat on the floor to pet the cat, and I fell asleep right then. I never even touched the coffee. I literally just crashed. My brain just switched off. Everything just switched off. I was dead. I woke up the next morning fully dressed. My boots are still on. My keys are still in my pocket. You know, my contacts are still in. The whole nine yards. The cup of coffee is still sitting there. It's now stone cold. It's completely full. And of course, the cat's looking at me from the other side of the room like, Are you alive now? Cool. <sighs> it's a tough thing to, to deal with. <clears throat> thing. And these are some of the things that can result from it. It's crap. It's what it is. It's, it's crap. Pure and simple. But if you're dealing with something like that, you have to understand that, I mean, obviously, yes. You have to understand that from the other person's perspective, there can be very difficult things that they have to deal with. And the tasks might be daunting, or maybe it's something that they're not aware of. But if the person is aware of it, or chooses not to be aware of it, or chooses not to face it, but instead continues to make the choice that, you know, basically shows you, you don't matter enough. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. And, uh, tough cock on you. You have to understand that that is no way to live. Uh, you should never be made to feel like you're not important. You should never be made to feel like your emotions are not important enough. And you should never be made to feel like you're just not important enough for me to care enough to stop doing the harmful things I'm doing. And this can relate to anybody. This can relate to your best friend. A girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, significant other. It can relate to parents. It can relate to siblings, aunts, uncles, cousins, family members in general. It can, you know, if you have a close mentor, you know, maybe it's someone you work with and you have to deal with this situation all the time. It can be problems with addictions, it can be problems with anger management, it can be problems with depression, it can be all sorts of problems. Um, 
obviously my case is a particularly niche case, but it's something that a lot of people have dealt with. And like I said, I might do a video more about that in depth, but I'm still debating whether or not I should. Um, it's a very sensitive topic to talk about, and I realize that. Um, not just for me to talk about and then put out in the open online, but to talk about in general. Maybe you guys are like me, and you don't necessarily talk about it as much as maybe you should. Um, there are a lot of friends who I have that don't know my full story. They don't necessarily know all the troubles that I deal with as a normal baseline. Um, and part of that is embarrassment on my part, and part of that is I don't want to put something out there that might make someone else feel like they're being weighed down by this. I do feel it is important to talk about. And I do mean, like, to talk about. There have been times I've vented to friends, and it does make me feel better. You know, to kind of get it off my chest, to just let it all out. And it does kind of feel like a weight off my shoulders. But it also is good to have a discussion with someone about this. I think it's, it's a particular topic that doesn't get talked about enough, and it's something we should talk about more. You know, uh, we hear about the particularly nasty stuff in the news. You know, people who have literally abused in a physical harm style abuse. And people have finally said, you know, that's it, I've had enough. You know, I mean, right now we're living still in the Me Too era where it's about sexual abuse. You know, people who have abused their power and have sexually abused people and that's getting talked about and although it's a rough thing to see on the news and in some cases there are questionable cases you know things that don't add up um, and let's not get into a discussion about that because that's neither here nor there that's a whole different topic and that's a, a very tense thing to discuss just because of how something can be reacted to um, but like we talk about that, we talk about the drastic cases, but we don't necessarily talk about the things that hit close, that affect us on a much simpler scale. And it's something we need to talk about more. I'm sure that if some people knew the whole story that I've gone through, they would tell me that I should have made my decision to tell this particular person to bugger off ages ago. And well, you have to stick to your guns. Really, it's not... Yeah, you know what? It's, it's true. And that's why I'm making this video. Because I want you guys to understand that... The things that people can do to you... The way people can harm you... It's not worth it to you. If you deal with something like that for long enough, if you deal with somebody continuously hurting you, whether it be physical, emotional, psychological, whatever, and they continue to make the choices which lead them to doing this, and they make you feel like you are not important enough to care about, you're not important enough that, you know, that your emotions don't matter, or my favorite, you know, you can have those emotions, you're justified in those emotions, but you just can't express them because, for whatever reason, I still don't understand it. These things are major problems. And it's not something you should ever have to put up with. And if that means that you have to make the conscious choice to cut someone out of your life because it is unhealthy, you should not, A, feel bad about it. Because in the end, one of the main things about life is you have to look out for number one. I know, I'm always quoting Randy Beckham. 
you have to look out for your health, your wellness. So you shouldn't be made to feel bad about it. Number two, or B, I don't remember, I never do. Sometimes it's the best choice for you. It will wreak havoc on your brain deciding to do this. It will wreak havoc on your emotions. But in the end, it's much healthier because you do not have to put up with that in your life. Take it from somebody who has. There is more damage that will be done from continuously dealing with this then will come from you saying I've had enough get out of my life I'm done obviously this is a heavy topic it's a very heavy video and yeah I prefer the kind of a little bit more upbeat and let's let's have some fun type of video but it's an important topic and it needs to be said and it needs to be heard, and needs to be thought about, and needs to be discussed. Take away from this video. Don't let yourself continuously be the victim. It's not healthy for you. Don't be afraid to walk away from a nasty situation. And don't let anybody make you feel like you're making the wrong choice. Keep looking out for number one. That includes your health, your mental health, your physical health, your psychological health, the whole nine yards. It's very important. And if you don't do it, you'll end up with a lot of baggage and scarring that will make life more difficult going down the road. Obviously, maybe have the discussion with the person first. Make them aware of the situation and what they do first. This video coming from me is coming from a point where that discussion's already been had several times over. And the choices continue to be the same. So I'm kind of on the end of this, you know travel of life in this situation and hopefully if you're seeing this video and you're dealing with the situation you can catch the situation earlier so you don't have to deal with it as much that's it it's an important thing to discuss it's an important thing to know And one of the things I also want you all to understand is that if you are viewing this video and you are dealing with this situation, there are a lot of times that you might feel alone. Like nobody understands it. Like nobody is going through it as well. That's not true. There are plenty of people who go through the situations that we all deal with. I mean, I can count three people right now, all who I've talked to in the last 12 hours, who are going through the situation. And I know plenty more. You're not alone. <coughs> so in the comments, if you're dealing with a situation like this and you want to talk about it, please, feel free. Leave it in the comments. Sharing our stories can help somebody else. Because they think they're alone. Because they're not sure what to do. And seeing what other people have gone through, and seeing what choices that other people have made, can be a huge help to a person. 
and I hope if you're dealing with a situation like this, or better yet, if you know somebody who is dealing with a situation like this, I hope you share this video. Not because I want views, not because I want, you know, the YouTube algorithm to love me, but because I think this is a very important message to, to spread. That it's okay sometimes to cut ties and walk away from a potentially dangerous situation. And if you're dealing with the same thing, or if you have dealt with it, or if you know somebody who's dealing with it, and if you appreciate the fact that I'm putting this out there for, you know, hopefully people to, to hear, do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up, at least so that I know, hey, at least this person, you know, any person liked it, appreciated that this message is being put out there. So we'll see down the road if I get into a video uh, in more depth about my particular situation. Because we're still a little at odds with the idea of doing that. You think it's a good idea? You want to hear it? Put it up there in the comments too. So, until next time guys, I hope you all have a good day. You know, Keep looking out for number one and watch out for yourself. Because there's too much crap in this world. <laughs> it's the end. Have a good one, folks. I'll see you in the next video. Keep rocking and rolling. I'm going to keep taking care of business. And, yeah. See you later.